Assalamu alaikum. This is Math for Class 2. This is Fraction Chapter. What part is colored? See, this is square divided into 4 parts and 1 part is shaded. 1 by 4 part is shaded. And this divided into 4 parts and 2 part is shaded. 2 by 4 part. And we can say if this is 2 part, then 1 part is shaded. 1 by 2 part, half part. Then 2 by 4 part or half part. This circle divided into 5 parts and shaded 2 part, 2 by 5 parts shaded. This divided into 5 parts and 1 part shaded, then shaded 1 by 5 part. Arrange in ascending order 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 2 by 4 ascending order may as small as 1 first. Here 1 by 4 is the smallest and 3 by 4 is highest mark. So 1 by 4 less than 2 by 4 less than 3 by 4. Which part is greater? 1 by 4 or 1 by 2? See here, this is 1 by 4 part and this is 2 by 4 part or 1 by 2 part. Which one is greater? This part is greater. This part greater so we can say 1 by 2 is greater. Which part is a smaller? 2 by 5 or 1 by 5? Here see, this is 2 by 5 and this is 1 by 5. 2 by 5 is greater and 1 by 5 is a smaller. So, 1 by 5 is a smaller. Which part is a smaller? 1 by 5 is a smaller. How to write one fifth? One fifth is written by one by five. One upon five is one fifth. And one upon four is one fourth. Which one of the following is the, the smallest? See? One by two, one by seven, one by three, one by five. If you, we divide one into two part, the 1 by 2 part is the biggest part and if we divide into th uh, 3, uh, if we divide 1 into 3, we can divide 1 into 5 part and we can divide 1 into 7 part. If we can divide 1 into 7 part, that will be the uh, smallest than 1 by 5 part. 1 by 7 less than 1 by 5, less than 1 by 3, less than 1 by 2. Therefore, the smallest number is 1 by 7. Which one of the following is 1 third? 1 third, this is 1 by 4, 1 fourth. This is 3 by 4, 3 fourth. This is 1 by 5, 1 fifth. This is 1 by 3, 1 third. 1 by 3 is 1 third. Measurement C. Unit of measuring length is meter. To measure any length, length or breadth, we use meter. We, you have to learn 10 mm equal to 1 centimeter, 10 millimeter equal to 1 centimeter, and 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. Uh, 1000 meter equal to 1 kilometer. See, this is the scale. In you have a, a scale in your geometry box. See, you can see your geometry a scale. This is 0 and this is 1. 1 to 0 is divided into 10 part and this is 5. This is 1. This is uh, uh, 5 millimeter, 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 9, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter equal to 1 centimeter from 1 to 2, 10 millimeter. Then 0 to 2, 20 millimeter. 10 millimeter equal to 1 centimeter, 20 millimeter equal to 2 centimeter, 30 millimeter equal to 3 centimeter. 40 millimeter equal to 4 centimeter, like this. 
unit for weight is gram. To weigh something as rice, sugar, any groceries. To weight, we use to weigh something. We use balance to weigh something. We use gram. The unit of weight is gram. In the shop, we can see different kinds of weight. See, this is 5 gram, 10 gram, 20 gram, 50 gram, 100 gram, 200 gram, 500 gram, 1000 gram, 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram. You need 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram. See, 25 Kilo, uh, 25 gram if we don't have to weigh something if we don't have 25 gram how can we weigh this For, uh, we can use 20 gram plus 5 gram this 25 gram if we don't have 50 gram to weigh something of 50 gram what can we do we use 20 gram plus 20 gram 220 gram we weigh 40 gram then 110 gram to weigh something 75 gram if we don't have 75 gram we can use 150 gram weight and another one 20 another one 5 50 20 70 75 to weigh 100 gram if we don't have 100 gram weight we can use 50 plus 20 70 plus 20 90 plus 10 100 gram 300 gram one 200 gram another one 100 gram to weigh 500 gram 200 gram, 2 weight, 200 plus 200, 400 plus 100. 2 weight, 1 kg or 1000 gram. We can use 2 500 gram, 500 gram plus 500 gram, 1000 gram, or 500 gram plus 200 gram plus 200 plus 100, like this. 2 kg, 500 gram. 2 kg equal to 2000 gram plus 500 gram. 2 kg for 1 kg plus 1 kg, 2 kg plus 500 gram. Then see time, time, will, this is 12, this clock, this 12, this 3, here is 6, this is 9. Now 2 o'clock, this, this is short hand and this is long hand, long hand in 12 and short hand in 2. That is 2 o'clock and here short hand in the mi middle of 4 and 5 and long hand in 6, 6, 5, five 6 at 30 minutes, 4.30, 4.30 we can say half past 4, 2.30 half past 2, 5.30 half past 5, 7.30 half past 7 like this. This now short hand between 2 and 1 and long hand in 3, 3 fives are 15 minutes. This is 12, 12 hour 15 minutes, 12, 15, 15 minutes we say quarter. From 12 to 3, 1 quarter, 3 to 6, 2 quarter, 6 to 9, 3 quarter, 9 to 12, 4 quarter. Then this 12 to 3, 1 quarter. A quarter with 12, 15 means quarter first, 12, 12 hour 5 minutes, 5 first 12, 12 hour 10 minutes, 10 first 12, 12 hour 25 minutes, 25 past 12, like this we have to say. And this between 10 and 11, 11 this is 12, between 10 and 11, then this is 9, then 5, 10, 15 minutes, 15 minutes to be 11, 10, 45, this is 9, 9, 5 are 45, this is 9, 9, 5 are 45, 7, and this is 10, 10, 45, 15 minutes to be 11, 15 minutes for, we say quarter, 15 minutes for quarter, then quarter to 11, quarter to 11, if 10, 10 to 11, we can say 10 to 11, 
10 minutes to be 11. 5 to 11 means 5 minutes to be 11. Here in 8, if in 8 we say 20, 20 to 11, like this, and do this time 60 seconds equal to 1 minute, 60 minutes equal to 1 hour, 24 hours equal to 1 day, 7 days equal to 1 week, 30 days equal to 1 month, 12 months equal to 1 year, 365 days equal to 1 year, 52 weeks equal to 1 year. You have to learn this and you have to learn the names of the month in English. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And you have to learn the names of Bengali months also. Boishak, Jeshto, Asha, Saban, Badra, Ashin, Kartik, Agoy, Fush, Mark, Falgun, Chaitra, like this. Mars, Mars is the third Mars. Mars is the third month of the year. June is the sixth month of the year. August is the eighth month of the year. You have to learn this also and practice this. Your math book already finished. You will get all the math in YouTube. You go through the YouTube and note all the math in your copy. This math for your final exam, your math book is already finished and collect all the maths from the YouTube. Thank you.